Hello everybody, my name is Graham Elwood and you are watching The Political Vigilante. A lot of talk about all the centrists and the how we're going to pay for it with the college tuition, right? Bernie's pie in the sky. Oh, gotta love that bold centrist thinking. Play it safe, centrists, right? Remember that, that, that famous quote from that centrist that radically changed history? You remember that famous quote? Yeah, neither do I, because there are none. There's no centrist that we all still quote to this day. <laughs> we quote people like FDR. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself, right? We quote his wife, Eleanor Roosevelt, who was like, uh, do the thing that you're most uncomfortable to do. Like, that you do, I forget the quote, but she said something like, <laughs> do the thing that, you're, that, you're, that is the most challenging. That's the thing you should do. I'm paraphrasing, right? MLK, there's never a wrong time to do the right thing, right? There's all these quotes about like bold action. So this was submitted by Luke, who's a Patreon supporter. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and you can submit stuff like this. I just want to show, talk about, there's, there's a bunch of countries that have free college tuition. There's like 20 some. But I want to go into these six main countries because what, it, what, what they have and their form of college tuition. I, I, by the way, I just did a web search. I use Ecosia. Dot org, which is a non-for-profit search engine. Don't use the big G. Uh, and they plant a tree every time you do a Google or <laughs> every time you do a web search. Uh, I'm gonna. I didn't say that. So uh, see, it's in brain. They're, 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 they am in the CIA. They're in my brain. Um, but when you search countries with free college tuition, all these websites come up on, and the, all the articles and everything are like, "Hey, Americans." Here's the countries you should go to because it's too expensive in America. America used to like attract the, 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 bix, the best brain power, right? We had the best universities in the world. We attracted all these people. People aren't coming now unless they get scholarships or something. But I mean, why come into this country and be left with you know $150,000 in student loan debt when you can study at a, at a country in Europe for free? Norway, students willing to brave exceptionally harsh winters in one of the highest costs of living in the world might consider earning their degrees in Norway. Tuition is free at public universities, giving students the opportunity to earn degrees at top-ranked institutions such as the University of Oslo, Norwegian University of Science and Technology, and the University of Bergen. One of the reasons the cost of living is so high is because everyone's educated with a good job and they got good social services and good everything. Good education, good jobs. All right, cost of living is a little high. That's not great. That's probably other reasons too, but... <laughs> Finland. Until recently, citizens and international students paid no tuition at state-run universities. However, starting in 2017, international students wishing to earn degrees in English will pay approximately $700 or more per year. So they had to raise it for international students because probably for Americans who can't afford to go to school here. And any American like, I paid my parents, I'm very lucky my parents paid my college tuition, paid $8,000 a year for me to go to college between 1987 and 1991. University of Arizona, decent state school, eight grand a year. And that's nothing, nothing compared to what this year, it is today. 1,700 today for an international student. Doctoral students, as well as those pursuing their studies in Finnish or Swedish, will still pay no tuition. The government also plans to offer scholarship and financial aid to international students with exceptional academic backgrounds. Sweden. All these countries, by the way, have a great quality of life. Their quality of life standards are all very high. Only students pursuing research-based doctoral degrees get free tuition in Sweden. Some programs of study even offer stipends to international students. Nevertheless, students should be aware that Sweden's high cost of living may put them over budget even when they pay nothing to earn their degrees. So that's just telling you if you're an international student, that's the one thing that's going to get you is the cost of living, but the college is free. So they're really taking care of their own citizens. Germany need skilled workers, and this really creates a win-win situation for American students. All students enrolled in any of the country's public universities can attend for free. 
What's more, German universities offer a wide range of programs entirely in English. An American student can earn a university degree in Germany without speaking a word of German. If you go to Germany, they speak a lot of English. Top-ranked institutions such as University of Munich and University of Bonn mean that U.S. students don't have to trade prestige for cost. My dad had a Fulbright, I believe, at the University of Munich, and we lived there for a year when I was a kid. <laughs> How are we going to pay for it? Ugh. A hundred of the top 500, for Fortune 500 countries paid zero dollars in taxes last year. A hundred of them. Wonder if they all paid to actual taxes and we took away their tax breaks. And we didn't, didn't give subsidies to oil companies. Gee, I wonder if we had the money. Wonder if we cut our military budget. You know the military budget that 188 uh, congressional Democrats just approved Trump. You know, they just voted to impeach him, but they also gave him a, a bigger war budget that Obama ever had. Th those Democrats, I'm just trying to, those Democrats, you know, the same, the 219 Democrats in the House that also voted to extend the Patriot Act. These are the Democrats that are resisting Trump. These are the ones, those corporate Democrats like Buttigieg and Liz Warren, she's a fake progressive, do not get fooled by Liz Warren, and Joe Biden, are, they're all centrists. They all sound like Republican. When I was a kid in the 80s, they sound like Republican. That's how Republicans talked. We can do this, the richest country in the history of the world. If we cut our military budget in half, we would still outspend China and Russia. <laughs> Beyond Europe, Europe remains a well-known, highly sought-after destination for students seeking refuge from high-priced U.S. colleges and universities. But public universities in countries such as Mexico and Brazil also have virtually free tuition. Students pay registration fees, which amount to very little when considering the exchange rates. Some universities offer top quality programs of study in English. Earning a degree south of the border also makes it possible for students to learn highly sought after languages of commerce, such as Spanish and Portuguese. They speak Portuguese in Brazil. Brazil is an emerging market. So America, that used to be the land of opportunity, is now too expensive. It's the land for only rich kids to go to college or drown yourself in student loan debt. Student loan debt forgiveness would cost $1.5 trillion. That's the cost of the F-35 bomber. That's how much was spent to research and design this bomber was $1.5 trillion to get a new bomber. Thank God we got that. We could have had student debt forgiveness. So anybody out there with student debt, for student debt, we have a new bomber. Think of that every time you write your monthly check. The other place we could have paid for it is Trump gave a $1.5 trillion tax break to his billionaire buddies. So we could have student debt forgiveness, but instead we spent twice the amount, we spent $3 trillion on a damn bomber we don't need, and then rich people getting tax breaks. So I hope that makes you happy when you're sitting there with your student loan debt, and then some centrist or a Republican or a Democrat tells you how are we gonna pay for it. Tell them those two numbers. That's how we pay for it. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood. Support what we're doing. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood because I don't get money from Boeing. <laughs> or Raytheon. Or Exxon Mobil. Or Pepsi. Or any of those other people that pay the fake liars on MSNBC and Fox and CNN and those other clowns. All the people that pay Rachel Maddow and Sean Hannity, none of those people support what I'm doing. Right? I don't do this show in a wine cave for the billionaire elites. I do it for you. So go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood, rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, and go see Ron Placone and I on the road, 2020 tour dates. Go to GrahamElwood.com, like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on social media. At Graham Elwood on Twitter is where I do all my political talking, and also when I announce my live stream that I do every Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific. Thanks for watching.